Well, I have passed by here hundreds of times, and every time I'm always looking for maybe a piece of wood. And I've looked at this piece several times, and I wondered how attached was it. Well, on the way down, I passed by it, I kicked it, and it moved. So I kicked it a couple of times, and voila. I got me a piece of wood that I wonder what I'm going to do with it. But either way, I'm going to make something out of Sarasota. And this is a piece of, um, oh, I don't know, I forgot what it's called, mangrove. So we'll see what comes up out of this. It will be nice and hard. Here's Albert, up to no good again, making a mess of my boat, my nice clean boat. I tried cutting this before and the saw I could not get through any further than this. So I ended up grabbing a pair, pair of needle nose pliers and offset the teeth slightly on this old saw and I was able to get through that. Not the easiest of tasks, but it got through. So you can see that even though I started this cut before I made uh, opened up the teeth some, the blade will not go inside of it. So I have to literally cut it.
It took me a while. But got through it. A lot of salt dust on the sugar scoop. And here's the two pieces. Plus Fatima has a decorative piece. Mount Rushmore over there to uh, put some <laughs> plants on. Time to get a, a portable chainsaw. <laughs> Unless one of you guys wants to send me one. <laughs> Make it a 20 volt, DeWalt, you know, that sort of thing. Oh my No Lord. more than 12 inch. I don't need a bigger blade than that. Need something to haul on the dinghy when I go to these islands that might have some driftwoods that are too big to haul. So I might need to zoom, zoom. And to turn it for you guys. Zoom, zoom, huh? Yeah, zoom, zoom. Oh, that's a Mazda commercial. I, I probably can't use that. No, you gotta get your own. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's Fatima's zoom zoom interpretation. Out of that log, there will be a couple of pieces to turn and some very decorative pieces that I don't need to do anything to. <laughs> you look at it. First of all, I cut off this piece from there and it makes a decorative piece all on its own yes I already put the uh, air plant on it see how it fit from the bottom from the bottom of that I cut off this piece which will be another decorative piece with some of these air plants going through here find different cubbies and uh, decorate that. Have this top piece over here. Cut it. Have that piece for a turning. I'm not sure what that one is going to be yet. And I have this one over here also to make some sort of a natural edge bowl out of here. Maybe uh, a troop over, I'm not sure. It's tall enough to do something with that sort, a bowl with a pedestal on it or whatever. And of course, it has my favorite. Interesting voids and stuff like that created by mother nature and the help of their, its insects. This is a, a pretty hard wood, believe it or not. So I can't wait till I get this on the lathe. And that will be the build up for the next video. So don't think because I haven't turned anything, it's because I've given up on wood turning. Far from it. My generator gave up on wood turning. It hasn't started up in some time. So that's coming up where I need to open it up, see what's going on. I'm pretty sure that it's the rings or the valves not uh, creating pressure on the engine, compression. So we'll uh, take a look at that and see what's going on with it. And I'll see if I can run the lathe slowly off uh, the inverter when I have a nice sunny day that my batteries build up all the way. See you next time with some pieces of mango. No, not mango. Mangrove. Mangrove uh, tree, which is illegal for you to cut. But that was dead stump at the root base. And this thing has been exposed to the sea for who knows how many years. This is probably, it's been dead probably for at least 10 years with the tides going in and out of it and water hitting it, sand. So all these crevices are being, were, have been created by mother nature over the course of many years. So we'll see what comes out of it. 
see you once we get it into the lid.